Hello friends, James Allen here. Hey, all of us want to be happy, but we understand that circumstances don't always present themselves favorable to our happiness. That is, things don't always go as we expect or that we desire them to go. You and I both know that. But let me tell you one reason some of you are so very unhappy. One of the reasons you're unhappy is because you're trying to please everyone. You have set before yourself an impossible task. You've set before yourself a task that says, I will please everyone. Now, you might feel like you're the most unselfish person on earth, but really trying to please everyone is kind of selfish. You want everyone to like you. You want everyone to love you. And trust me, you know, sometimes you don't even like yourself. Sometimes I don't like myself. That's just not going to happen. Not everyone will like you. Not everyone will love you. But let me tell you something that makes it worse. You try to please everyone, and so you don't set boundaries. Let me give you a little advice. I'm sure you've seen it lately on Facebook or other places. But if you're not invited to go somewhere, don't go. And if you're invited late to go somewhere, uh, they probably didn't intend to invite you anyway. At least you weren't top on their list. If they don't want to, if they don't want to involve you, don't try to get to involved. And if they're not telling you about a situation, don't ask them about a situation. Because every time you do that, you, you move in and you try to attach yourself to someone who may just not like you or who doesn't really want to share with you, maybe with anyone else. I'm not saying you can't be concerned about others. We are to be concerned about others. But many times our concern can be wrapped up in a lot of unselfishness. Did I say that right? No. It's not really unselfishness. It's selfishness. We want to be involved. We want to be invited. We want to be asked. We want our advice to be important. But trust me, <laughs> sometimes it's just not going to happen. Stay close to your family. Stay close to your friends. Stay close to those who value your judgment and your advice. And those who don't want your advice, well, <laughs> many times that's their loss. You know, I've never met one person in all of my ministry that I couldn't learn something from. And if you've been, if I've been your pastor or we've been friends, I guarantee you I've learned something from you. And there's something I could probably say that I learned from you. And there's other people that feel that way about you also. So gravitate toward them. Quit trying to reach out beyond the boundaries. Just be yourself in Christ. Quit striving. Quit straining. And simply allow the Holy Spirit to flow through your life. Be yourself and enjoy His love and His mercy. In Him we move, in Him we breathe, in Him we have our being. I pray that this is a happy weekend for you, and if not real happy, that you will sense the joy of the Lord, and you won't go where you're not invited. God bless you. Have a great day.